Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a Bloom's Flying Ant. We've got a TMC 100 here in a size 14. Uh, the first thing I'm going to need is some black Antron, and I got some right here. This is from Hairline, comes in a spool. I'm going to tie that in from about mid shank back, and I'm going to come down the bend a little bit. We are tying an ant, and we want to get that nice ant taper, okay? And then I'm going to use um, some uh, hairline microfine dry. Um, this is actually <laughs> their trico blend, and it's got some reds and some browns and some other colors mixed in there, and it just breaks up. A solid black, that's not what an ant color really is. Um, they have varying shades of body. You can tie this in a rust color as well. Um, actually the color is cinnamon in the uh, hairline dubbing color. That's a very popular color as well. So I've got this dubbing and I'm going to come to the back here and build up that tear, teardrop shaped body. I'll come up one layer to about where I want to stop and then I'm going to work my way back only about two-thirds of the way and then come back over. I'm going to add a little more dubbing to that. There, now we're getting the teardrop. And then you'll take your Antron and you want to kind of spread this out a little bit. And all this does is um, make the fly a little more durable um, so that the dubbing doesn't end up sliding off the back and you have a tail that looks funky and stuff after a few fish. Cut that off. We're going to come up here a little ways. And we're going to put a... Um, let me spread out this Antron a little better. Um, we're going to put in a post of, of orange antron for our um, hackle and also allows us to see this fly. So I'm going to take a piece of fluorescent orange antron, double it over, tie it in in the center of the material, get a few wraps to lock that in, and then next I'll wax my thread. is I'm going to go up this Antron. It's always hard to get this stuff started after you tie in the center of it. You'll get above the bump a little ways. Okay, So I'm just going to work my way up slowly. I'm going to pull tight in between wraps. And I'm using um, the wax on the thread because it sticks to the material and to the thread and just kind of keeps everything together as you're doing this otherwise you end up getting a lot more slippage than I'm getting right now and I'm going to come up boys because I'm going to heavily hackle this thing and just kind of come around here and do that and then get a lot of good wraps front and back to kind of lock it in a few more at the base just to make sure everything's good and tight the other thing the wax on the thread does is you hackle this and it will um, keep everything in place a little bit better. So I've got a brown hackle here. You can use brown or black, whatever color you, your ant's um, legs are. Brown's more of a traditional color. Black works real well too. Tie this in with the cupping of the hackle facing down. And I'm just going to work my way up. I've seen these tied with grizzly hackles, brown hackles, you name it. So I'll tie that off right there at the base. And trim that. Get everything covered up and cleaned up. And then I'm going to grab a little more black dubbing here and make the little four body of this ant. Let's try that 
and see how it looks. I can always add more. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll just take our thread and tie that off with a little whip finish. Cut that, and then I'll take this and I'll hold this up and kind of brush down and straighten out the hackle, and then I will cut this just so I've got a tuft of orange. See how it flares out nice? That stuff really stands out. And there you have a bloom's ant.